This video is sponsored by Audible. Thanks guys. Also, there's no in-game audio for the first few minutes of this video, so I'm just gonna do them myself. Welcome back to another episode of Hermit Daft, where we continue to do daft things, such as randomly generating content. So what are we going to do Click today push. that's gonna end up being ridiculous? One, two, three. Make Mumbo Mare. Oh, you. <laughs> Grumbot. I forget that maybe not everyone would understand these references, so let me quickly explain. This is a variation of a supercomputer that we built in Season 7. Now, its primary job was to make Mumbo Mare. And we came up with the slogan, Mumbo for Mare. So it looks like it still has that goal. What, what Grumbot doesn't know is that... Uh, Mumbo's busy cycling across Europe right now. Mumbo is busy. I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna add a sorry in there because last time he kind of scared me. So Mumbo is busy. Sorry. There we go. You can get a lot of emotion out of Grumbot with a couple of eyebrows. And he said, Grumbot will find a way. A way to what? To make Mumbo met? That we don't have a mare. We have a king. We have a king. Whatever you're gonna do, just make sure no one gets hurt. Well, anyway, let's crack on with today's episode because I have got a couple of things that I'd actually like to do. The biggest one is actually back, back, back down here. I, I don't know why I came up all the way here. Down here, I've got a bunch of sheep that we moved last episode. Now, my one goal for today, and that is literally all I have to do, is to make a sheep farm. Using these guys, I'm gonna pop it in this section here, and we're gonna decorate it with a bunch of machinery looking thing. That's my one goal. I've got myself a whole bunch of materials, which we are going to take over to the shopping district. You may remember that we started a club called NAR, which, which stands for not a resistance. But recently, a few laws have been popping up on the server that we just can't abide by. Thou shall never AFK. That's an enormous sign. But it's not the only one. There's a giant QR code. Scan that at your own risk. Thou shalt not mine diamonds. Not the only one. Thou shalt not party. Someone has crossed out the not. And probably the worst law that's been introduced into the server is th th this one. Look. Ren and his cronies. Thou shalt eat only giga pies. That means no carrots. I've already broken this law. Look at them. Look at these, li look at these little fellas. Okay, so what do we do? I can't start a resistance, but you know what we can do, and what we have been doing, is using loopholes. I can't be part of a resistance. However, there is no rule against making shops. This is where resistance assistance comes in. Oh man, look at this. Seriously, look how much profit I'm losing. Oh, at least someone's decent. Royal Emeralds. Oh my, no. 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 I'm more determined than ever to make this resistance assistance. So, I'm not going to be asking anything. I'm just going to put up a billboard like everyone else has. And I shall be offering my service to anybody that uses the word resistance in their name, or is their goal, and I just, uh, I can offer some friendly advice, you know, it's a paid gig, this is a service from a shop, I'm not joining, I have no allegiance, assistance, that's what this is, assistance. So, why don't we find a nice spot where we can put a billboard, possibly here, or back, back here looks pretty good, and we make resistance assistance. A thing. I- this- this works, right? Because I'm not joining. It's a- it's a temporary third-party contract. Is this- this is a loophole. This is a loophole. And I'm- I'm gonna- I'll tell you what. I'm gonna find out where those diamonds are and I am going to exchange all of these royal emeralds. So, let's 
make ourselves a quick and probably temporary shop. So I'm not going to spend a million years on this thing. Just something quick and easy to show that our services are available for anybody who needs assistance with their resistance. There we go. Resistance assistance. Now that is a billboard. And look at that happy little face. I even got to use the new block, packed mud and mud bricks, because it actually is, it's not far off the color of my hair. So there it is, pointing to a little fake TNT and then a sign that says resistance assistance. Now, if I had a space, I had to alternate between andesite and smooth quartz because basically if you had a space between each one, the, the actual words, it ends up going like all the way out here and it just looked ridiculous. So this should grab some attention from our people that are resisting Whatever doesn't have doesn't have to be a king. You could be resisting anything. This is Grax Grian's resistance assistance consultancy services. Do you have a resistance message Grian and let's chat one diamond per resist assist now you might be thinking Grian that's pretty cheap well we don't want to make our prices too high and price our good old customers out of a resist assist hmm all right, well, there we go. We'll wait for some friends to give us a message saying that they would like a resist assist. I think this is a great loophole. Oh, by the way, everyone, stop what you're doing. This is really important. Probably the most important thing you're ever going to see on Minecraft. I found a new zoom button. You know this, I've got my Optifine zoom. It just goes bing, 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 bing. Check this out. I, I, honestly, I don't even know what mod. I've got so many mods, I don't even know what's up or down. But check this out. I, pre I accidentally pressed this button, and then this started to happen. It's a slow zoom. And it goes, it goes pretty far in. And then if you want, it goes, yeah, yeah, up, 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 up. Look at, that's so far in. And then you bring it back like this. But here's the thing. Here's the thing. This is what happens if you hit F5 at the same time. So if you, you press this, and it's, <laughs> look at this cinematic effect. Okay, 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 okay. Now we're gonna do the same thing, but I'm gonna put some dramatic music over the top, okay? Da da da. <laughs> So whenever there's a, whenever there's like a big dramatic moment, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna hit the button and I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna do this. They won't know, but we'll know. And I could do another zoom on top of that. Wait, how, 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 how deep does this go? Okay, hold on. Let's, let's put FOV to 30 and then zoom in. That is just diamond. There's, you can go as far as, yeah, that's it. It's just two pixels. Wow. I knew we were close audience, but I didn't know we were this close. I really do look like a fish here. And back. Uh-oh. Here comes a hot guy. <sighs> Why? Now let's turn our attention to the good old sheep here. I actually have a bunch of dye so that we can get them in every single available color. And then... We can make a pen for them, and I can include some more of the randomly generated content words, because there were some magnificent suggestions out there in the comment section. Grian, we require your assistance. Resistance assistance? That didn't take long. We have our very first customer. I probably shouldn't have put that straight out on the server with a bunch of... Yeah, I, hmm, yeah. First rule of ass assistance, resistance assistance, is don't talk about resistance assistance because it kind of gives away that you're assisting the resistance, you know? We can just go in the back. I actually made like a little entrance. There they are, there they are. I made like a little entrance there. Is that you? Hello? Impulse? Hey. You're barely audible, mate. 
Did you say Audible? We're gonna get a little bit more real for this Audible ad. You see, I spent most of my 20s behind a computer screen, and I've always lamented the fact that I didn't do more solo travel. Which is why we're gonna get a book, and we're gonna use this, and we're gonna go somewhere on my own, just listening to a book, doing some solo travel. Here's the dart. And here we go! We are heading to the Cotswolds. It took me a while to settle on which audio title I was going to listen to on this adventure because there are quite literally thousands of titles on Audible. I settled on Clara and the Sun by Kazuo Ishiguro. This is a story set in the near future, told from the perspective of an AF, which is an artificial friend. So I put this audiobook on in the car while I drove to the Cotswolds and listened to it while I went on a slight adventure. The plan was to have no plan and I stopped everywhere I saw something interesting. I took a quick walk in the woods, I found a set of stones which were over 4,000 years old, and drove through some amazing little villages, all while listening to my new book. Also, I had some good soup. I walked around the shops, got myself some rhubarb and custards, and eventually just walked around and enjoyed the scenery. Stopped by a pottery shop and got myself a couple of mugs. By the end of the day, I was about halfway through my book, and I have to say, so far, I have to recommend it to you. If you want to go on your own Audible adventure, go to audible.com forward slash Korean or text Korean to 500 500 to start your 30 day free trial and every month you get given one credit to use on any audio title. Hey, maybe even Clara and the Sun. I can't tell you how great of a day I had just going out, listening to a story, becoming immersed and just enjoying myself with no plan. Again, if you want to take up this sort of challenge, or to check out this book that I've been listening to, then go to audible.com forward slash Korean or text Korean to 500 500. Let's get back to the video. You see, okay. the first thing you need to learn about resisting is flare. Oh! Flare? Yeah, you oh. you got to appear from Hello. the walls. Came Hello. out of nowhere, I was expecting a drop in. Welcome to Green's Resistance Assistance Consultancy Services. It's definitely not a resistance. We are ready to strike back on Ren the Clown, and we're down a member. Jem couldn't make it today. Oh. We need some help. You see it over there. Yeah. Oh, well, that's... Okay. I, I... Well, my prices are pretty competitive. My closest yeah, competitor doesn't exist. You saw that. Although, e even though you're competitive, I think Pearl also wanted to see if maybe we could get a discount. What? Yeah, because like you kind of just like added us in chat a little bit there. You know, I don't know if we can really trust full consultancy at this point. Uh, yeah. it's, it's one like diamond. But like, you know, I feel like, I don't know. I can give you a 50% discount. I guess. Okay, how do let's, we let's see you split that in half then. I don't know how this is going to work. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how this is going to work. Okay. We should be honest with you though. Like we want to get back at the king for doing all sorts of stuff around the shopping district and covering our shops and with ugly bulb boards, okay. but we don't really know and exactly what to do. I've to been I've been waiting for an excuse to do something about these royal emeralds. They've been so annoying yeah. in my shop. They are They're a royal pain exchange. in my waffle and that's not oh. even an exaggeration. Oh, not the I've got I've lost so many diamonds to this fake currency and I yeah. think well, according to him they are a one-to-one -one ratio diamond to emerald. If we just go to the crassle and um, see that through, we should be able to exchange emeralds for diamonds, no problem. Oh, I like that idea. I have plenty of those fake currency emerald thingies. And we should blow up the king. I do like that. Oh. oh. Just, just end with that. There's, you know, if you okay. ask if consultants. <laughs> I, I can't force you to do anything, but you are consulting... <laughs> An expert on resistances, and it's not a resistance unless you blow up the king. Gather up all your royal emeralds and let's meet up. See, look at this. Someone's taken a full shulker box full of white concrete powder. I've been really... I've, I've had a lot of emeralds taken from these. Oh my goodness. Well, at least concrete is extremely popular. All in all, I've got three stacks of royal emeralds. That's a lot of diamonds that I've been missing out on. And let's not forget, these are possibly my diamonds that I gave to the king at the start of this whole mess. 
so I mean this is this is fairly simple for the most part. You see they've got piles of diamonds lying around. These are our diamonds. This is true. This is these are ours. That easy? Yeah, mm -hmm. I, we just uh, craft these up into emerald blocks. Yep, and then oh, there's that. so many look how look at this mismanagement of funds. And mm -hmm. and if I knew how to get those special um little stars next to the royal emeralds, you know I'd be renaming some, but I I, <laughs> I don't know the secret. I don't know the secret I thing. Mean, you could technically put it in an anvil and copy the text, right? No, no, no. We've got to have the high ground here. We can't we uh, we, we can't stoop okay. to their level, right? We, That's where, true. That's we need to true. find more diamonds. Where are the diamonds? Well, the vault is directly under us. Wait, there's a vault the on vault? top of all of this. Well, under yeah, all of this. Yeah. Pop down it's the down there. Whee! Oh, how many diamonds are down here? Ah! Hopefully a lot. Um, oh, oh my! Yeah. Don't worry, the ward, the warden's fine. I moved him far enough away before the party. Oh. <laughs> he won't hurt anybody. Right. Okay. Let's let's exchange what we can. Oh! Oh! There's a. There used to be a glass floor there. We just take. We just take what we're due, and nothing. Nothing else. Right. I'm good. I got 23 diamond blocks. I just need a. I need a couple more diamonds. <laughs> this visually shows just how much we've missed out on from fake currency. Like, it's, mm -hmm. this is a big, this is quite a big difference. Right, but that's not all. We, um, let's rig the chair. Oh, yeah, we gotta blow right. that up. Right, yeah, that, that part. Bit. That's the throne. You this is the it? throne. Oh, I did it. Carts. Couple of TNT mine carts. We should we'll test if it. netherite <laughs> is resistant. Uh, yeah. We probably don't want to blow too much of a giant hole in the castle as well. Are you? You're gonna, it wouldn't be too gonna... bad with the deep slate. I'm gonna have to, uh... Go get this stuff and bring it. You're gonna be there a while. Yeah. You want to help? Yeah. I'll help you out. We got this. Yep. <laughs> this is more resistant than us. I don't know why I started this, but now I can't stop. You realize if we break this by hand, are we even gonna. I'm not gonna pick this up. No, I think it's just gonna poof. About to poop hmm. this thing into non-existence. Yep. I can't remember. I, I don't remember why we were here. Just to hit this Me block. Obviously. Wait, it's oddly satisfying, though. <laughs> you know what? This game, I'm learning something every single time. So if I stop, it goes back. Oh! It goes back completely. completely. Wait. Start again. Okay. Oh no! No, it's fully, fully back to the Well, start. we've learned something today. Let's blow this thing up. Right. Sabotage the castle. Right. This I'm loading well. it up. One, two, three. Do not, oh do not go over that. Oh. It's so tempting to walk over it. Okay. Right. I'm, I'm, I'm do coming down. Ooh. Okay. Whoa. Oh, Whoa. 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 Oh, I didn't think this through. I can't take it. All right, is everything back the way it was? I think so. I'm oh, afraid to even wow. look. Okay, we did this. Let's leave before something Ooh. happens we don't want it to. Thank you for exchanging <laughs> our royal emeralds for diamonds. We appreciate the currency, but not really. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely. That works. Perfect. I like it. Yeah, well, that's it. Diamond. I've earned this diamond. Good and proper. <laughs> if well if your resistance needs further assistance, another diamond, another another resist assist. I feel a massive amount of relief. We somehow managed to get uh, all the things that you enjoy resisting without actually starting a resistance. Today has been a good day. I think I heard Scar earlier with his mic off. So you have like your Surprise! <laughs> Never gets old, huh? Was this a ploy this entire time, Ethan, to catch me off my guard? Oh, no, no, no. Of our delightful <laughs> park talk. Where is he? There he is! Ah, get him! Oh. <laughs> right. How much of this episode has been one massive distraction? Let's head into the base and sort out these sheep. Who is that? Let's sort out these sheep.
this is a really good reason why you should sometimes plan things out. A lot of the time recently I've just been winging things with the builds and not worrying too much. This is one of those times where I wish I didn't. The concept still holds up. I still want to have this kind of cave looking thing hold all my sheep. But it just didn't work out. I don't like the look of this at all. And to make things even worse, it's only semi-functional because I put the sheep on the top layer one block too low. So this bit works. This is a standard sheep farm. You really should... You know, I've been playing this game for 10 years. You really would expect me to be able to make a sheep farm from memory, but nope. Apparently, it's a... Uh, it's a, it's a no-go. <laughs> I'm I, I am... I'm... A little bit embarrassed by this. So what I'm going to do now is go back to the drawing board and figure this out for next episode. Because I would like to make it look a bit more industrial. I don't know why I put these sheep floating in the void like it's the end of season 8. But look, hey, look, it's working. It's collecting. That's that's part of why we're doing this is just to make something functional. But I'm, uh, I'm not happy about this. <laughs> I'm not happy about this. I'm pretty sure they're not either. So I'm going to go back to a, like a tubular design. And then hopefully move these guys up a block and completely redesign it, which may mean releasing the sheep back into the wild. Getting the sheep in the tubes is the hardest part of all this. Did you know we are nearly at 8 million subscribers on the channel? I can't believe it. We are actually fairly close to 8 million. So if you're still watching at this point, maybe consider subscribing and help push me over that 8 million mark. And if you like this episode and you didn't watch the last one, go and check that out as well. Thank you very much for watching and good bye.